Spencer Lee is unbelievable and he does he finishes on the edge better than anybody I've seen all year so if he can finish on the edge that's the key to his victory Nick Suriano he needs to get his hands his heavy hands on him on his feet right there he's a Jersey boy he likes to go to work and he needs to go to work and get those heavy hands on Spencer Lee So just underway at 125 pounds. Those of you new to wrestling, seven minutes in regulation, three minutes in the first period, and then two two-minute periods. And the score you see on the bottom left of your screen corresponds with the ankle bands worn by the wrestlers. Suriano in the white singlet with the red ankle bands, and Lee of Iowa in the black singlet with the green ankle bands. So when you see the officials raise the hand to signal a score, it'll be with those corresponding colors. Suriano, a perfect 25 and 0 this year, has not been taken down the entire tournament. Getting near to the finals after taking down the defending champion from last year, Darian Cruz of Lehigh, by a 2 0 score. And that's certainly something a takedown that Spencer Lee wants because he takes down. He, when he takes you down, he's not just taking you down to ride, he's taking you down to turn, and there's a big difference between the two. And Spencer Lee is so strong in all positions. You see right there, he's working for wrist control, trying to get two on one on Suriano. Suriano's doing a nice job just pulling that wrist back, not allowing Spencer Lee to climb up and get that two on one. trying to become the, la the first true freshman for Iowa to win a title since 1993. Lincoln McElravey, the last true freshman Hawkeye to do it. Two minutes into this first period, still 0-0 Suriano and Lee. High school titles between the Pretty good tactic by Suriano. I mean, he's, he's staying close. He's getting those hands on Lee, and I think that's what he needs to do on his feet. I agree with Tim. Suriano's doing a nice job. He's doing some nice hard snaps. It's getting Lee off balance, causing some movement there. That's going to create some openings for some shots here in a little bit. He keeps that up. Both wrestlers, highly decorated high school careers. Suriano. Perfect 159-0 at Bergen Catholic in New Jersey. Won four state titles. Nice shot there by Spencer Lee. He's trying to cover up the hip. Surround's doing a nice job of defending here. First good early action of the period. Down to 10 seconds to go in the first. And that's two for Lee. The takedown not only on the edge, but at the end of the period. To the end of the period, here's the toss. We welcome in those of you watching the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament action here to Cleveland, Ohio, just underway. The NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships, the first of 10 matches tonight here at 125 pounds. Nick Suriano, the sophomore from Rutgers, the true freshman Spencer Lee out of Iowa, who's just taken a 2-0 lead at the end of the first period. You gotta have that head in the middle of the back. What a huge takedown for Lee, right in the middle of the mat there at the end of the period. No answer for Suriano. I like the persistence there by Spencer Lee, just getting in on that takedown. He was in on the single leg. Suriano was defending it well, had some great balance, great hips. Spencer Lee just kept pushing, kept pushing. So it's reach across there, cover up both hips. Way to stick with it. Escape point for Lee, who takes the three nothing advantage. Soriano, the first Rutgers wrestler to reach the finals. Previous best finish for a Scarlet Knight was fourth. Most recently done by Anthony Ashnold a couple of years ago. Wow, the strength. That was a nice shot by Soriano, but the strength of Lee, just dominant. Suriano's trying to get a couple shots off there, just can't get deep enough penetration to fight off Lee. Lee is a strong guy, so Suriano's gonna stick with those heavy, heavy snaps to allow him to get deep on a shot there to finish. Angle. 
Lee has been a big scorer in the NCAA championships, outscoring the opposition 55 to three. And a three nothing advantage down to a minute left, second period. Suriano needs to do something creative to get past that head hands defense of Lee there. Something open up angles. Suriano's just kind of hanging back right now, posting on the head. He's not really trying to make any attempt to set up any shots here. He's got to move those feet around, like you said, Tim. Create some angles, do some level changes here, get back to those hard snaps that he was doing at the beginning. He's got to open Spencer Lee up. He's too strong to be sitting here and to try to fire a shot straight on. That's never going to work. I agree. I don't think the strategy is staying away. I like this heavy hands in the first period, but now Lee, a very different approach. Yeah, that, I, I, no way was um, Siriano going to choose underneath with uh, Lee's uh, incredible skill on top. And like I said before, he doesn't get on top to ride. He gets on top to turn. That's how why he's so excited about takedowns. It's not to take him down and let him up. It's he can't wait to get on top to do his turn thing. Really like the head hands defense here of Spencer Lee. He's pressuring forward, got his head center there, controlling the ties, staying low, forcing the action here, pressing forward. Soriano needs it here. It's just a minute 39 separating Lee and a possible championship with a 3-0 lead. Soriano has to come up with this. That whizzer, shin whizzer in there by Lee of keeping Soriano from finishing. Wow. Lee trying to cut across. Nice defense by Soriano. Terrific wrestling here by Lee as well, getting in on those legs. He popped his head to the left side. The cut across, the crack down, two more points for Lee. Now inside of a minute to go, the lead is five. Lee trying to get Suriano on his back. Lee could be the first true freshman to be an NCAA champion at this weight. Since 125 became a weight class back in 1999. 35 seconds. That tight waist is tight. 30 seconds. And it doesn't look good for Coach Goodale's first national champion from Rutgers right now, but Coach Goodale has done such a great job at Rutgers trying to get the first national champion. Their first finalist, Rutgers, hasn't had an individual athlete in any sport win a title since 2003. That was in fencing. And how about the job by Iowa, clinching third place. Just a super end of the year for the Hawks. Great tournament for Tom Brands and his Hawkeyes, but this, what, the, the biggest decision of Tom Brands, first time he's ever pulled a red shirt of a freshman, and it looks like he knew exactly what he was doing. They ripped off the red shirt in January, and in March, the payment comes around as Spencer Lee, the freshman, is a national champion for Iowa. Let's go to Quint, who's got the champ. Spencer, congratulations. What was your reaction to that early takedown? Hey, uh, I was, we were both feeling each other out. We're both really, you know, tough competitors, and it took us both a little bit to get to some offense. And uh, at the end of the period, the coaches say wrestled seven minutes hard, and I went out there, and with 10 seconds left, I didn't matter. I had to score, and I took the opportunity. When we spoke the other day, you spoke about your dad, Larry, and your, and your mom, Kathy. Yeah. What do you think this means to them? Uh, I think it, uh, 
all the hard work they put in and uh, traveling, all the all the money they put in for uh, coaches and clubs and everything seems to have paid off, and uh, it's been a good ride so far. Congratulations, Spencer. The last Iowa freshman to win an NCAA title, Matt McDonough in 2010 as a redshirt freshman, but Spencer Lee does it as a true freshman, the first to do it since 1993 for the Hawkeyes.